Hello. Oh, I'm so glad you made it. Does that mean you got my message that I drew in the sand? Yes, I am having a big summer blowout. Are you interested in looking at what I have for sale? Well, um, to be honest, I'm having a bit of trouble lately, and I really shouldn't be doing this, but I'm getting quite low on shells, and, you know, the cove where I live, underwater, not my summer home, it's not cheap, it runs quite a few starfish month, so like I said I'm bending a little bit of rules here but I'll do it for you because you are my most valued customer technically, I shouldn't have been selling you anything in the first place well you need a, a permit sell to humans, and technically even after that I'm supposed to erase your memory, but we won't do that. Not for our favorite customer. Now, I have a few items that perhaps you might not be used to seeing from my wares. The demand for human items is actually quite low. The more it gets washed into the ocean, I think Amazon has started delivering packages underwater. Mm hmm. Yes. Now, I do have some mermaid imports. Would you be interested in seeing those? Well, selling mermaid items to a human could get me into quite a bit of trouble, so you'll have to make a promise not to speak a word. You don't mind if I write up a little contract, do you? It's only slightly magically binding. Let's see. Contract. For human sales under no circumstances may human initial here utter any words regarding my Lorelei presence nor the actions that have taken place at Summer's Cove. Okay, and I'll have you sign here. And after that, thank you, you'll have to initial here. And then I'll just need you to lick your finger and press. Perfect. Now that the legal matters are settled, we can proceed with the imports. Now, most of the imports are from a dear friend of mine that specializes in containers. Would you like to see those first? And then I can show you some of our more common mermaid items, easy to find if you're part of uh, the community underwater, but perhaps not so much if you are just a little human. 
the first container It's a very minimalistic Yet quite beautiful, charming Bamboo casing I believe that she went all the way to the coast of Asia to get the materials for this The lid opens and it is secured with a small magnet Horse magnets work underwater, don't be silly. So we keep your treasures locked away. In fact, mermaids love magic, but they love magnets even more. <laughs> Get it? Magic magnets. I am known as the funny one in my friend group. Pesky waves opening up. Your box. You can keep anything inside here. It's the beauty of containers, isn't it? For example, this is the last of my shelves. I keep it secured with a cork However You could Just sneak One or two Inside the jar Safekeeping. See? Perfect. What else could you ask for? I will need these back, however. All right. I'll show you the next one. Now. This is a very unique container Hand open Teal Beauty She calls it the trifecta It has a looped handle at the top here You can hold all three at one time Now you'll notice that this one is open And this is because mermaids often use the trifecta as sort of a net As they swim along, the handle is perfect to grasp onto Hold behind you while you're swimming and when you reach your destination, you check and see what you caught It's not entirely practical, but it's more entertaining Lucky A gamble I'm not sure if humans could use it the same way, but does seem to be the right size for bottles, perhaps. I see humans drinking quite a bit. What does it taste 
sounds like. Well, if you bring me some next time, perhaps we can barter. What do you think? Good. This one runs eight shells. Not bad. The next container is a wider bowl shape. And this is made out of clear blown sea glass. Beautiful bubbled texture. Now the inside slightly bumpy. It's not completely smooth. It's soft. But you can feel the ridges. Outside, oh, where the bumps are. I think it almost looks like scales. This is a nice accent piece. And when your friends ask you where you got it, you'll have to lie, of course, but you'll know you got it from a mermaid. And for this one, I can actually show you the last container that I have. This iridescent six six sided cylinder. And this has the finest sea smells. I believe you call it poopery. These have all been dried, so it's usually kept in air pockets. At least where I live, you won't have a problem. Although it might not be the most beautiful to look at, which is why it comes with A lid. So all of the ugly stays on the inside where it should be. That's what my mother always told me. But why I bring this up is if you are looking for a more bold look. You could place the dried sea potpourri right in this bubble bowl. My preference is to close it away, but some like the natural look. You'll have to air it out sometime, so in order to get that It's a gold rim. Very beautiful. Would you like to take a listen? You can hear the quality. I will uh, put that aside for now. That one will run you 10 shells, or if you wanted the iridescent 
six-sided jar, that would run you 12. The potpourri is included. Now, I would like to show you another item. This is the last one that I have. I've been actually selling these to mermaids, but I figured if you like a good novelty item, this could be for you. Now, up on land, these sound very harsh, but there is a rough side and the softer side, and this is actually what we use to buff our scales. Just give it circular motions, and then polish with the soft. See this patch on my tail? like to touch it. Here. Place your hand. Very rough. Always a little sparkle. On the other side. Soft. I'm not sure what use you would have with it. It's much too delicate for your human skin. May I touch your face? I'm so sorry, but curiosity has taken over me. I just... Oh! Softer than a merbaby. Wow. Hmm. Well. I always heard that human skin was delicate, but this is another step. Perhaps proceed with caution on this one. Certainly don't use it on yourself. I don't want to be responsible for another human step. Alright then, this is my last one. Other than that, I can offer you one of our merballs. Yes, it's what you play merball with. Have you never seen these lying around? Oh, all the mer children, they leave them everywhere after a game or one swims around the ridges three times, you know, you have to get a new ball. That's the rule. They're quite soft, but like a dry sea sponge. Little barnacles, almost. Well, I'll throw this in for free if you buy three items. That's a deal. Let's ring you up. Okay. So we have the
What else did you want? Yes, 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 the buffer polish. Okay. Now that will cost you, why don't we just say, 25 shells. Well, that's, that's a fair deal. Okay. 25 shells it is. Fantastic. You can just put them in the jar. you're looking for in particular that I can keep an eye out. I see. Oh. Well, if you've seen other mermaids, I would not recommend approaching them. No. And if they're singing, well, I would advise against that even less, but that's for another time. Considering it is the first week of the human month, I need to get back to my cove or I might be in a bit of trouble. Thank you so much for your patronage. I hope you enjoy your new item.